Jeeps and Germans. Get moving. Die Dokumenten schon. Na gut, sehen Sie. Anyone come in here? I saw no one. Who were you looking for? Three enemies of the Reich. They escaped from a prison camp a week ago. Nobody at all came in? I saw no one, soldier. You'll be taking some men into the fire. Gosh, again, where are they? They're up in the bell tower. Hurry. Please forgive me, Lord. I saw nobody at all. Come on, hurry. No. to catch my breath. Always running. I'm sick and tired of it. Ah, quit complaining, Pazilpo. Lift that tail up and... You're going to quit now? Come on, right. the war is over for us. Come on, come on! Don't shoot! The hell it's over! Stop, don't shoot! They're friends. The priest told me to bring them. Let's see them. We escaped from a German prison camp in Sarajevo five days ago. We've been crabbing at night to avoid being recaptured. During the day, we've been hiding out. Then we met a farmer who gave us food and... You're American? Lieutenant Bill Rogers, United States Air Force. My plane was shot down last springtime during a mission. I bailed out and was taken prisoner near Mostar. And the other two? Sergeant Mario Esposito, nicknamed Posillipo. Italian? Yeah, Italian. I was imprisoned by the Bosch on the 8th of September together with my patrol. But I only stayed two weeks in that lousy camp. I was the one who convinced them we should escape. My situation is different. My name is Blitz. I'm a deserter from the Wehrmacht. The Austrian. Germans or Austrians, it makes no difference to us. They're both Nazis. Show them. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. He's a friend. He helped us escape from the camp. He could be a spy. You better get rid of him, Milan. Like hell, he's a spy. He's a got guts. He insulted an SS captain just to defend me. That's why they were going to throw him into a discipline company on the Russian front. But he preferred to desert and stay with us. You can trust him. Thank you, Commander. So, you're a pilot? Yeah, why? What plans do you have? We want to get to the coast and across the sea. The Americans are in southern Italy, and 
Indeed, as far as we are concerned, this stinking war is over for us. Yeah, that's about it, more or less. And how are you planning on crossing the Adriatic? Swimming? Oh, uh, San Gennaro will help us. I imagine we might be able to help you. Thank you, Commander. That's what we were hoping for. There is one problem. And what could that be? Do you have experience as a pilot, too? I got my civil license in Vienna in 38. But the only time I tried flying without an instructor, I, I landed in a potato field and fractured my arm. Good. You see, some time ago, we came across two old aircraft near Zenitz in a hangar. They're still in good condition, but we can't use them. One pilot was killed, and the other one, look at him. And so, you want to give us one? No. Ah. Only, if you two agree to pilot them in combat for a couple of weeks, then we could help you out. Isn't that right, Vanya? Sure. Mm. <sighs> Nothing doing, friend. Why not? I mean, come on. It's helping America's allies. We're fighting for the very same cause. Aren't we? Well, Roosevelt thinks so. Hey, Dennett, are you crazy? Zilbo, we have no choice. The planes are there. They just need checking out. Okay, when do we start? Get busy. I didn't know that women got involved in wars in these parts. Why? Is knitting all they know how to do in Italy? No, better still, they know how to make love. I can't make you out. A pretty girl like you. What do you want to go risking your skin for? A war is a man's job. Take care. Oh! Or a shot just might accidentally go off. I was just trying to be friendly. Nothing more. But what's the matter? Don't you like me? You worry me. There's a rule here, you know. If a guy bothers a woman soldier, he's shot. Oh, you're just crazy for shooting, aren't you? Hey, what are you? A female colonel with all those stars? No. Each star stands for a Nazi. It means I've killed six. Want to know the news, Tenente? What? I'm really scared. Try not to think about it. How are Blitz and his crew doing? How about that? This hunk of junk flies like a bird. Any chairs? Nothing. We can take this plane to Italy. How about it? Great. Maybe I was too optimistic. Enemy aircraft. Alert command. Hello? Hello? Look out post number two. We have sighted enemy aircraft. Description follows. They carry the Yugoslav ensigns on the wings. They carry Yugoslav ensigns on their wings. Approximate cruising speed, 300 kilometers per hour. They are heading south-southeast. Approximate cruising speed, 300 kilometers per hour. They are heading south, southeast. Look out, post number one, calling command, over. Apparently, they are two old-fashioned biplanes, light weapons only. Cruising speed, 300 kilometers per hour at most. Their current course is south by southeast. are in for a shock. A real surprise. I just hope we can synchronize the attack. Come on. Fire! Fire! Stay down. Where the hell are they? If 
they wait much longer, we won't have a chance against those corners. They should have been here at 10. It's two minutes past now. Well, Spaghetti, how do you feel? My bones feel broken. All I want to do is throw up. I almost begin to miss the concentration camp. <laughs> here's to our American comrades. And here's to our next victory and the end of the war. Very good. I'll drink to that anytime. Now listen, I've got a couple of other little raids planned over the next few days. With those two biplanes, we can wipe out a whole brigade. Wouldn't it be better if you just let us go to Sicily? We could convince Eisenhower should send a whole squadron of bombers. Ah, no need. You guys are enough with our two biplanes. One biplane here, Commandant. What are you saying? There were two when I looked last time. The one I piloted won't be flying anymore, unless you can come up with a spare engine. That's right. The oil filter's broken, and the pistons have completely had it. Kaput. You filthy swine, you sabotaged it! Hey, calm down, Milan. I personally checked when we landed. There's nothing you can do. That engine's gone. All right. So our Air Force, there's only one plane. Try it again, or you'll force me to add a seven star to my collar. Anyway, what's wrong with you? You behave like a nun. Well, I am a nun. Or at least, I was up till five months ago. You're kidding. No, not at all. I'm an ex-novice from a very pious Orthodox convent, Tanabor Monastery. The war made me lose my vocation. I didn't feel I could take my vows in a world like today's, so I left and joined the partisans. Why is that Tanibor Monastery so famous? Haven't you ever heard of St. Basil's treasure? What is it? For centuries, the nuns of the convent have been the custodians of 12 solid gold chalices studded with precious stones. They were presented to St. Basil at the end of the 1400s. Each of the chalices has the image of an apostle engraved on it. Hey, they must be worth a packet of money. St. Basil's treasure is priceless. But I can tell you that the Metropolitan of Athens offered $5 million to buy them back a few years ago. Accidente. By the way, I wanted to tell you something. After today's combat in that biplane, I... I've changed my mind about you. 
You know, I had underestimated you. I was sure you were one of those guys who flunks everything. <laughs> I am. What did you say? I was just saying that next time I'll raise hell and earn myself six stars all at once. Well, I'd better get some sleep. Good night, sister. Tenente. Tenente. Lieutenant. What's up? What would you say to getting your hands on five million dollars? I'd be satisfied getting on a pack of camels. But I'm talking about a treasure. I'm talking about good American tobacco. Now go to sleep. Shove off. Lux with them and they managed to pull this off. That ammunition train simply has to be destroyed. To pilot that plane is out and out suicide. But Rogers is good. He'll make it, you'll see. I believe that. I really do. Know what? I think I'm getting very attached to those two. Well, then, why didn't you think to tell them that the train is always accompanied by an escort of 20 German fighters? It would only have alarmed them. Let's just hope today it's traveling without. Some hope. I haven't got over last night's hangover yet. By the way, what was it you had to tell me that was so dang important? This isn't exactly the moment. You know, I'm feeling very seasick. I tell you when we get back. If we get back, look!
don't believe it! The tail flap's stuck. I'll have to try for an emergency landing. You mean an impossible landing? Take it easy. The worst that can happen is to break a few ribs. weren't even working. Now, of course, St. Basil helped us. Uh, who? I'll tell you later. Let's get oh. out of here. I was more or less expecting it. It's already something that with an old wreck like that, you can bring down two fighters and blow up the train. Without that ammunition, it'll be difficult for the Germans to attack you. Let's say that would leave us a couple of weeks to get our breath back. Pardon me, boss. Uh, now that the death squadron has ceased its activities due to beyond its control forces, we could... Uh... Oh, yeah, we could continue on our journey. The war isn't exactly over. But the three of you have done your part. Okay, friends. You can leave tomorrow. I'll give you food and munitions. And a safe conduct pass signed by me. Thanks, Milan. And uh, actually, there is something else we need. What? A guide. Someone who will get us up through these mountains to the coast. How about Vanya? Vanya? Oh, oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Vanya, will you take them to Ploche? Why not? I'll be back inside a week. All right. You'd better get ready. You've got a long march ahead of you. What the hell's the matter with you? That girl's just gonna be a nuisance to us. The lieutenant's right. Listen to me, and listen to me well. You're all imbeciles. How would you like to get your hands on 12 solid gold chalices worth five million dollars? You pull on my leg. No. I'm talking about uh, St. Basil's treasure, guarded by certain nuns in the Tanabor Monastery. It was Vanya who unwittingly let me in on this little secret. And later, it'll be Vanya who will take us to the monastery. Okay, genius. How much is five million dollars divided by three? One million and seven hundred thousand dollars each. <sighs> Plus a card of camels. And a barrel of beer. Okay, boys. Looks like it's full of Germans. We better give it a miss. All right. 
But we have to get to the other side of the road before we can start going south. There's no other way. Then let's get moving. There's 20 or more. And that's one hell of a lot of Nazi trucks, my friends. Looks like a roundup. We better get the hell out of here before we wind up in a trap. Partisans. We belong to the Milankovitch Brigade. Here's our pass. We're traveling. To what point? Ploche. A short time ago, we nearly ran up against a German column. They're traveling up the Travnik Road. They're here, I suppose. Get everyone into the woods. Do you hear me? Go! Everyone take shelter! Move! You go a little farther. All right. Don't worry.
dogs like that. Those people are unarmed. I can't take it anymore. Shut it's up. Guilty dogs. Shut up. Are you crazy? I can't take it anymore. You want to get us killed? If they find out we're in there, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Thanks. When those pigs have finished and gone, we must move quickly and find shelter somewhere. Blitz needs treatment. And to think my Uncle Joe has a private air-conditioned clinic in Kansas City. But your uncle's clinic is in America, and we are here, cooped up in this damn hole which thinks of miserable crowds. The comes in good. Hey, listen, Vanya. The convent, the one that you mentioned, is it near here? What do you want to know? I thought we could take Blitz there. That's, that's a solution. It's a good solution. Damn good solution. It's no good. We're still a long way from Tanabur. What a shame. I would gladly have uh, taken advantage of it to light a candle to St. Basil. Blitz's wound can be treated excellently here. Here? We are at the moment a stone's throw from the large diagnostic center of the partisan movement in Bosnia. There won't be air conditioning like in your Uncle Joe's clinic, but I can assure you there are excellent doctors. Oh. What is it? Can't you hear? They've stopped barking. Yeah, they're gone, all right. Okay, in a half hour we move. Everything all right, Doctor? It's not deep, only a flesh wound. No nerve damage. A week's rest and he'll be able to fight again for sure. What do you mean, fight? We have had it with you, Ar. We have to get to Ploche. All right. That means you'll be able to leave in about a week. Pardon me, ma'am, but why can't we leave today? He doesn't have a broken leg. Foil, I'm be nice. I'm fine. With half a bottle of Slivovitz inside of me, I feel I could even get to Copacabana. Very well. I understand. Bandage him and give him half a glass of castor oil instead of Slivovitz. Castor oil. That's right. Once the oil has done its work, you can leave. Everything is okay. We'll reach the sea the day after tomorrow. I don't like this silence. I may be crazy, but I can smell the stink of krauts. It's a fact. Look. does it make? Bombs are all the same if they fall on our heads. Hey, America. Bet me that they want to manage to flatten that bridge. Okay. I'll bet you Rita Hayworth 
against that old piece of metal of yours, huh? Siguro. It's a deal. What is he doing? Has he gone crazy? It's broken. Don't work. If it had really been working, do you think I'd have been so stupid as to bet with it? Let's get moving. Come on. Hey, where the hell's Blitz gone? He was here up to a moment ago. He can't be far away. The dumb crowd head has skipped. I don't see why. I do. Die Waffen nieder! Schnell! Zwei Soldaten zu mir! I have no regrets. Marsh! You know what, Brazilipo? I like you after all. You know, we could have ended up in bed together. Now it looks like we're going to finish up together in that ditch. Schnell! In die Reihe stellen! Schnell! Augen zu binden! Well, looks, looks like this is it. Just think, huh. I've got a beautiful family tomb in the Kansas City Cemetery. I care a lot, Lieutenant. Gewehre, ho! They would have shot all four of us. Go drown. <laughs> Here we are again. Sooner or later, we're going to wind up goners. I reckon we'll think something up. And anyway, Blitz needs a rest. I don't think he can go much farther. What are you talking about? I feel fine. You're not well. You've got a fever. Can't you feel you're burning up? Well, actually... Now that I think about it, I am kind of shaky. Unless I'm mistaken, we are near that monastery convent. It's less than 13 kilometers away. Do you think your nuns will take us in for a couple of days? Just until things calm down a little? 
Calling mass. There are no services at this hour. Something must have happened. Maybe they saw us coming and want to give us a big welcome. Let's go. What are you waiting for? See if they'll let us in. What do you want here? This is a holy place. Mother Superior, don't you remember me? I was expecting that. Sister, have pity on us. We are three poor Christians devoted to St. Basil who need help. Please, please open the door. May the Lord be with you. Come in. Sister Cunigonda. My name is Vanya now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh, Lord. Lord. Silence. Sisters, each of you will now hurry back to her humble position and keep a sharp lookout there. Go now. Oh, yes, oh, yes, Mother. Oh, yes, 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 Mother. What is it? What's worrying you, Mother? Has something happened? The catastrophe. Those devils are arriving. You mean the Germans? Yes. They're coming to the convent today. They intend to confiscate the treasure of St. Basil by the orders of a general named Hitler. Oh, it is sacrilegious. It is blasphemy. Are you sure, Mother? Yes, we were told by the priest. Don't worry, Reverend Mother. All is not lost. Luckily, my friends are here. They won't allow the Germans to take the precious chalices away. Isn't that so? I can swear on San Gennaro to that. I don't think I ever heard of that saint. Who was he? <laughs> this man you see is an American lieutenant, Reverend Mother. He'll fix everything. American? I thought all Americans had red skin. Some of us do. Reverend Mother! Reverend Mother! They're here, Reverend Mother! The Germans! They're almost at the front gate! What's Hurry up, kids! Let's get moving. Let's go! What's he going to do, this American of yours? Nothing terrible, Mother. Don't worry. Now lock yourselves in and pray for us. Come yes, inside. Let's go quickly. Quickly. Open. Open. Good Tag, Sergeant Herzog of the Tiny Boy Felt Gendarmery. I have a requisition order. Herein. Oh, 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 forgive us for not having anything better to offer you. The convent lives on contributions, and these are very hard times. This is the best soup I ever tasted, ma'am. All it's missing is a few chunks of sausage. And a little tomato, too. With a bottle of Coca-Cola. <laughs> uh, sister, oh, mother, I'm very devoted to St. Basa. If it's uh, possible, I would like to visit the chapel. Of course. We'll all thank him together for having sent you here to save us. But before we go, have a drop of sleep, please. 
Hey! Hey! What works of art? Never seen anything like it in my life. These dress codes are just wonderful. I'm really moved to be in such a holy place. How strange. I was told that Americans were the same as Russians, all followers of Satan. No, Reverend Mother, Martin Luther. What did Luther deliver us? He's worse than Stalin. <laughs> I think you're a good American boy. Look, rubies as big as nuts and 20 carat emeralds. Dozens of big diamonds. St. Basil must really have been something. Amen. Excuse me, Mother. There's something that's worrying me. Isn't it dangerous to keep the saints' chalices on the altar for everyone to see? We're the only ones who come here. But the Germans could return. Let's face it, they will return. And soon, to confiscate the treasure. That's true, Reverend Mother. It's a big risk. Why don't you hide them in a safe place? Where? There we are. All we need to do now is give the box to the saint for safekeeping. You ready? Okay, Mother. This is a perfect hiding place. No one will find us here. Should, should the Germans return, all you have to do is tell them that you've given the treasure to the sergeant yesterday afternoon. Then, of course, they'll say it isn't true. They won't say anything at all. Don't worry. Amen. Can't you hurry it up? If that red hand wakes up, we'll never get rid of her. What's the matter, Lieutenant? Lost your driver's license. I can't license. get this damn thing in gear. Why can't these dumb Nazis use Fords? Hey, boys. Wait for me. Have you gone crazy? We were just trying out the engine under the truck. We wanted to be nice to you and let you go on sleeping in another 10 minutes. You can go to hell. Enough! You are someone in charge, the only one. The general in command in Belgrade sent me here to ensure that the confiscation of works of art and precious objects be carried out as quickly as possible. 
and I expect my orders to be obeyed. Sorry, Herr Major, but your orders have been obeyed scrupulously. Then what happened to the twelve chalices at Tannevoir, Captain? I put one of my best and most trusted men on the uh, Operation Herr Major, Sergeant Herzog. He went to the convent yesterday at noon. Since that hour, the commanders had no further news about them. Incredible. Absurd. Did you ask the nuns about them? Yes, personally. They were with Herzog, according to the Mother Superior. I believe her. So you believe her, do you? Why is that, Herr Kapitän? The treasure is no longer in the chapel. We turned the place upside down. It is not to be had. Have you come to any conclusions about what might have happened? I think Sergeant Herzog and his men were ambushed by partisans on their way home. Quite likely. In that case, what we have to do is organize a large-scale roundup with a dual purpose. Number one, to save our soldiers if they're still alive, and number two, to get the treasure back. Very good, Herr Major. Organize a convoy leading a group of heavy tanks. I will take command of the operation. We start in one hour precisely. Jawohl. I nearly forgot. Is there a way of closing off the rebels' exit route? Just have to block the Long Kuvas Bridge. Anybody wanting to get out of the area must cross it. Do we have a garrison there? At less than a kilometer. Very good, Herr Kapitän. Go to that garrison immediately and put them on the alert. I will proceed to the bridge at once, Herr Major. understand is, why did you want to leave again so quickly in the middle of the night? So as not to be caught by the ESS. They probably sent a whole company up to the convent after those six soldiers didn't come back. He's right. And that would have been it for us. Something wrong? The engine's acting up. Easy. Looks like the oil pump has given up the ghost, huh? Yeah, I think you're right. You know, a place like this can even make me forget there's a war going on. A bellissimo. Look, it seems like paradise. You see? Look how clear the water is. It really makes you want to jump in. I haven't had a real bath for months. Well, they repaired the problem. Why didn't you take advantage? They will take at least half an hour. You're just saying that because you want to enjoy the big show. Do you want to offend me, sister? I am an Italian gentleman. I wouldn't dream of such a dirty trick. Go on. <laughs> Don't be silly. Go on. Okay, she swallowed it. As soon as she's in the water, we'll do a skip. Okay, act natural. Make like nothing's going on. Hmm. The lady's not so bad. Not so bad at all. I prefer St. Basil's treasure. Me too. that accelerator down to the floor. I wouldn't put it past that lady to run naked after us all the way to Ploche. <laughs> <laughs> Ma 
Hartman, you're just what we need. Let's get out of here. Okay, boys, I'm ready. We can go. Let's move. Keep your voice down, you fool. The crowds are here. Where? Right back there down the road. We were testing the engine, and suddenly we came face to face with it. Damn it. How are we going to get out of this one? There is a way. We must go back and cross the Kovaz Bridge. But it's risky. The Germans have roadblocks and a garrison there. It means going and sticking ourselves in the lion's mouth. And even if we do manage to get across, we'll have the whole German army on our tail. Not if we blow the bridge up behind us. Idiot. We blow up the bridge and what else? We stick a rocket in our hair and we fly to Italy? We must blow it up. This is right. We have to give it a try. Come on, let's go. Move it, Vanya. I am moving it. You're just not watching it. time an armored convoy will be by here, commanded by Major Schulz. We are effecting an important roundup to localize the partisan bands operating in this area once and for all. I've come here in person to transmit the orders from the command. From this moment up till the time Major Schulz comes, nobody is to be permitted on the bridge, and that means no one. The order will be carried out, Herr Kapitän. All right. Are our alarm systems working? Of course, Herr Kapitän. If you don't mind, I'll take a peek at them. I'm at your orders. I shall personally write a letter to headquarters praising you and all your men, Leutnant. Thank you, sir. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. I figure it. Vanya will take care of the machine gun on the north side to block access to the bridge. Blitz, do you think you can manage to climb down and put the explosives in place? Sure. I did something like that in Holland in the spring of 40. Good. But first I'll have to get hold of explosives from the armory. Brazil and I take care of the bunker, then we'll cover you. All right. When you're ready with the truck, Brazil will cover you with a field piece. A field piece? Well, give it to me. That's your problem. The important thing is to get everything done before that damn column arrives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on.
Here we go. Ringewäsche. Ja, yeah, schon. Split. Okay. Stop. Right on Gruber to prepare. What's going on here? Where are those shots coming from? From the Kovas Bridge, Kamayo.
Hallo, Banke, Anze, hallo! Hallo, Banke, Anze, hallo, hallo! Thank <laughs> you. 
stop. Who are you? Partisans of the 15th Bosnia Brigade. We have just blown up the Kovac Bridge. Good work. Won't be so easy for them to get out of there and on our tracks now. Cigarette? Camels. Why not? Huh. Is it such a surprise? We're allies with the Americans. Keep the pack. Thanks. Are there any Germans around here? Let's say here to Ploche, no Germans. And after Ploche, some. And they won't be there long, I promise you. Hear that? If you're lucky and don't run out of gas, you'll be in Ploche in a couple of hours. What? You haven't decided to ditch us. Yes. I bet you couldn't wait to be free of me. What are you talking about? You know this old spaghetti-faced Italian's got a soft spot in his heart for you. And so do I. Thanks a lot. Well, goodbye, sister. Why goodbye? Why not see you soon? Oh, sure, sure. See you soon. She's a little stupid, but a nice girl. That's what I say, Lieutenant. Let's smoke a camel in peace. Anyway, no one's running after us. Nice, isn't it? Are you thinking about Ritz? Yeah. Poor guy didn't deserve to get bumped off like that. You know something? I would have preferred to divide that treasure in three. He had guts, that sauerkraut. By the way, you didn't tell me what you're going to do with your two and a half million dollars. Ah, well, first of all, I'll buy a new pair of shoes in mink. <laughs> and then I go on holiday with two beautiful broads in Monte Carlo. <laughs> Just to teach those warmongers a lesson. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to buy myself a yacht and take Rita Hayworth for a cruise. Think she'll come? Why not? You're not so bad. Come on, let's open the box now. I'm just too impatient. I want to fix my eyes on that treasure. Me too. Got it? Yeah. Here I come. Gold chalices. Ah, oh, the damn thieves. What's this? I knew all along that you meant to steal St. Basil's treasure. The nuns of the convent and I worked all night to put it in a truly safe place. Those chalices are precious works of art and belong to our people. When the war is over, they will shine again on the altar dedicated to our patron saint. Good luck, Vanya. Per la miseria. That's what comes of trusting an ex-novice. This means no more cruise with Rita Hayworth. And no holidays in Monte Carlo. What a couple of idiots. We risked our necks ten times over for that load of stones. Had enough. I'm fed up with playing the hero and killing crowds and... You can say that again. You know what we're going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to get hold of an airplane, blow the airport, and hightail it back to Italy. That's a good idea. The work you do for the look, Papa, will earn you a kilo of potatoes and 16 hours a day. And remember, our bite must fly, as we were taught by the glorious Marshal Gehring. Collect your tickets.
Keine Flügel vorgesehen. Sehr gut. Kapitän, was tut er denn? Achtung, das Flugzeug aufhalten. Alarme. Verrückt? Das glaube ich nicht. Alle Piloten in die Flugzeuge! Aufsteigen!
Welcome back. <laughs> it's good to see you alive and well. You were lucky. You could have come to a sticky end. We have to move. The Germans are on our heels. Where are we heading for? To blow up another bridge and try to behave yourselves, or you'll get 20 years in prison for stealing works of art. Oh. Into the woods, quickly. Come on, move. You know what I say, Parente. We may as well just go ahead and win this damn war. Then we can go to Berlin and steal the treasury of the Third Reich. <laughs> <laughs>